guys! So today's video is going to be my current everyday makeup routine. I was like, what am I calling this video? <laughs> this is gonna be my current everyday makeup routine, kind of like my summer edition, because this is the look that I pretty much go to for the summertime. It's very bronzy, it's very glowy, as you can see. There's a lot of like browns, and I have like a peachy pink lip on, so this is just the look that I go to. Let's say if I have to get up really early in the morning, I have to be somewhere, if I have to go to a meeting, if I have an appointment, but I don't wanna go looking like a zombie, this is the look that I will do, because it takes me about 15 minutes when I'm off camera. It's quick, it's easy, I don't do any eyeliner. I don't do any intense contour. Oh, it's like a foolproof look. I, I can never mess it up no matter how tired I am. So that is what I mean by my everyday look. So this might be too much for some of you. It might be too much for an everyday look. It might be too much highlight. It might be too much eyeshadow, whatever it may be. But just remember, it's just makeup. It washes off. If you don't want to do this look, totally understand. You can modify it. In this video, I talk a lot about like my favorite current products that I've been loving, favorite brushes and stuff like that. It's very chill. This video is not a typical makeup tutorial. And I think that's because I usually film right there, but today I'm filming on my actual vanity where I do my makeup every day. And so I just felt like very chill and just natural. I'm gonna stop rambling. Oh, wait, I completely forgot my hair. This is the first time that I've been on camera with my new haircut, thanks to you guys. I Snapchatted you telling you that I had to get my hair cut because it was so dead and I was like, I don't know what to do. And my Twitter immediately got flooded with different pictures of hair. And thank you so much to everybody who participated in the new Jaclyn Hill haircut because I was screenshotting pictures that you guys were tweeting me all night. I was up in bed until like three o'clock in the morning, like still screenshotting pictures. So thank you so much to everyone who sent me photos. So, okay, that's it, I'm done rambling. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you soon, bye. So the first thing I am going to use on my skin today is this Makeup Forever Smoothing, is that what this is? Yeah, the Smoothing Primer. It's gonna take a little pinch of that on my fingers and my hands, ooh, <laughs> my hands are clean and I'm just going to massage that in the center of my face. So I just rub that wherever I want anything to be smoothed over. So next I'm gonna go in with the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. Like I mentioned in my last video, this was only purchased because of Kim Kardashian. Her makeup artist uses this spray on her to achieve that dewy, luminous look. And we all know that Kim Kardashian always looks like she's just glowing. She's Her skin is always looking radiant. And so when I saw that this is what he was using, I was like, mine. This is a very expensive product, especially for a skin mist. But in my personal opinion, it's worth every penny and I 100% plan on repurchasing it because I've never known a product to give me such a dewy luminous glow before if you're oily you're gonna absolutely hate this just being honest but if you're dry and you can never achieve a dewy luminous look like that Victoria's Secret model look this is gonna be your best friend and I'm just gonna spray it pretty close to my skin I don't like want it back here because I want to get it on my skin because I don't want to waste this I hope the camera can pick up how luminous this is gonna make my skin like when it dries in a few seconds like my skin just looks like beam it's amazing Oh my gosh, do you not see how, like you can see it looks luminous everywhere. Okay, so now it is time for foundation and I'm going to be using the Elsie Cosmetics Micro Silk Foundation. I have been using this now for like three weeks straight. It is my current favorite foundation. I do have some other favorites that I've been loving recently too, but this has been like my nonstop everyday foundation recently. So this foundation is definitely like a natural matte foundation. It's not a chalky matte, but it's definitely not dewy, which is why I go in with the dewy spray beforehand because I want it to have a little bit more of a dewy look because this foundation is a little too matte on me if I don't do something to make it luminous. I'm gonna go in with the Morphe M439 brush. <laughs> this brush, I am so in love with you guys, seriously. It's like, you know how you like find a new product and you're like, how did I ever live without this? What Was I living like a caveman? I honest to God don't know what it is about this brush that makes it so great, but it's like, it's dense. I don't know what it is, but it's so amazing. Just so easy to apply foundation and it's so easy to get the coverage that you desire and it's like, and it's round and it's fat and it's big. So it covers like a lot of area in a short amount of time. I don't know, I don't understand, but this is just my favorite foundation brush ever. And I am an affiliate with Morphe, so if I'm ever talking about like a brush or a product and you wanna try it, I do have a discount code with them. It's just Jack Attack in all caps, and that will get you a discount code. That will get you a discount code. <laughs> that will get you a discount on the Morphe website for anything on the site if you ever wanna try anything. I always forget to mention that discount code. I'm really bad about that. I used to be better back in the day when I first like started YouTube about like finding you guys discount codes and talking about discount codes, but I'm sorry. Foundation. 
Okay, so now I'm going to conceal. I don't know if you noticed, but my dark circles are bad today. They're usually not this bad, but I have been working a lot recently. I have not been getting the rest that I need. Um, I usually like allow myself like a day every week to just do absolutely nothing and rel relax, but this last week has just been so insane that I have not been giving myself any rest. I've just been pushing myself and pushing myself, especially since I'm going out of town and I'm not gonna be working for four days. And that stresses me out, so I have very bad dark circles right now because I am not getting the rest that I need. So I am gonna conceal big time today. And then I'm just gonna take the opposite side of the beauty blender and just kind of damp in areas where I always get creasy, which is in between my eyebrows, and then right here in my smile lines. I guess I'm just too happy and my face doesn't like it because my foundation always creases here. I'm gonna set my under eye area and I'm going to use the Anastasia Banana Powder and the MAC Pro Emphasize. And I am just going to set this entire under eye area. I'm gonna go up on the side of my nose and I'm going to bring it up towards the temple. I'm gonna also put this on my eyelid because that will help prime for any eyeshadow that we're gonna use. And I will just bring it back in circular motions. I always start off with patting motions and then I go in circular motions. When I first initially go in, I don't start wiping, I go in and I pat, and this will kind of help the skin to absorb the powder first, and then you kind of rub around to get off any of the excess product. Just slightly and put it on the chin, and then I'm also going to take a little bit and put it on the upper lip. So now I'm going to go, oh my God, I almost dropped that. So I'm gonna be using the Jaclyn Hill Favorites palette by Morphe. It's still so weird to say that. Um, yeah, if you guys don't own this palette, don't feel like you have to like use the same shades as me, you guys, because it was limited edition and it's gone now. And I'm just gonna be using like some basic everyday like brown shades that you can substitute for other things that you have in your collection. Um, I actually just opened this. This is a brand new palette because my other one was getting way too messy and I was like, oh, so I opened up one of my backups. <laughs> I'm gonna take this shade right here first, which is just like a super nude, neutral shade that I just use in the entire like crease area as a nice, let me just tap out the excess, as a nice transition. And I'm just gonna take that all the way from outer corner to inner corner and just kind of rub it everywhere. What am I using? I can be bad about talking about brushes. An M502 by Morphe. I'm gonna grab this color up here next, right here next to the orange. I'm just gonna pack that color all over the entire lid and put it in the crease. As you can tell, I'm not in any way trying to like make this look gorgeous. I'm just kind of like throwing it on my eyes. <laughs> I just love layering shadows as many as I can when I'm doing my makeup. So when I have a palette like this that has like tons of different shades of brown, I love layering them because it just gives such a dimensional look to the eye and it makes the blending process so easy and everything just looks so smooth. It's actually less work for me to use more shadows because if you use less shadows, you have to really focus on blending that shadow out. But when you keep packing them on, it's like everything just comes together so seamlessly. Most people are like, less is more. And I'm like, no, more is more. I'm gonna grab this orangey shade right here. It's kind of similar, it's like a Makeup Geek Chickadee. Take that. Put that in here, just for a little bit more warmth. I'm gonna grab this shade right here for my lower lash line and I'm just gonna blend that out with a pencil brush. This is a Morphe E18. This is from their Elite Collection. Ugh, their Elite Collection is so amazing. And just drag it along the lash line. This one and this one, I'm going back and forth. Just layering shadows as always. Okay, I'm gonna take this super dark brown now. This is Embark by MAC. Um, I just, I don't wanna use the, J the Jaclyn Hill Favorites palette for the entire tutorial because I know that not all of you have it and I don't wanna make you feel like, oh, well, I don't have that palette, you know? Um, but I would just use this one right here if I was going to continue to use this palette. But I'm gonna use MAC Embark instead. So now with MAC Embark on a Sigma E15, I'm gonna just put this on the lower lash line. Okay, so now going back with that same E18 pencil brush, I'm just going to blend and bark out on my lower lash line. Okay, so I'm gonna use a limited edition pigment from MAC. This has been gone for like two years, but I still have it. Um, the only reason I'm using this is because I ran out of MAC nylon eyeshadow and I had to repurchase it and it hasn't gotten here in the mail yet. So I'm using this instead and it's basically the exact same shade as MAC nylon. So I'm just using 
this instead, if you catch my drift. So I'm just gonna take down a tiny little precision brush. This is a MAC 228. I always use this for just inner corner highlight. And I am going to bust out that highlight like you've never seen. Better. Okay, I'm going to fill in my eyebrows. I'm using Anastasia Browiz in the shade Taupe. And I am pretty much only going to fill in the spots that need it. I am not going to like carve them out and sculpt them and all that jazz because I want this to be a little bit more chill than that. And just deepen up this outer tail and give the tail just a little bit more structure. So then I'm just gonna take some MAC Pro Longwear Rod Waterproof Brow Set and I'm just gonna go over the entire brow with this. Look how tiny this little wand is. I love that, like it's so precise. And this is in the shade Red Chestnut, so it matches my hair a little bit. And I'm just gonna go over like the inner corner just slightly and kind of drag it through. Okay, so I'm going to curl my lashes. Sorry, I'm getting my lash curled. <laughs> Does it look like a torturing device? It really does. Fabulous. Okay, now I'm going to go in with mascara. This is the Lights Camera Lashes Mascara by Tarte. This is like my favorite mascara. I just think that it makes your lashes so just voluminous, voluptuous. It makes your lashes so voluptuous. I'm craving like a lemonade right now, like a really fruity drink. Ooh, I want my Starbucks drink. Apply mascara on my lower lashes now, and I'm gonna be using the MAC Extended Play Lash. I feel like they changed the name of this. This used to be called the Giga Black Lash. It was called the Giga Black Lash when I worked there. What are you doing, MAC? I don't get it. Okay, so now I'm going to bronze the fist using the 351 bronzer by Makeup Forever. It's the one that I've been using like crazy recently. It's like my favorite bronzer right now. I love it. I'm gonna be using the Morphe MB5 brush to apply this. I've raved about this brush before. I was in love with this brush when I first discovered it. And I'm just going to use this to bronze my face. So I'm just gonna start back here and add some warmth to the skin. Thank God. Bronzer has to be my favorite part of all of makeup. Like, when I apply bronzer, I feel like, yes, I'm coming to life. There I am. Now, for blush, I'm going to be using MAC Margin, which is an oldie. Oh, let me get to it. An oldie but a goodie. It's right here, and this is, like, one of my favorite summer blushes. I use this every summer like crazy. I've probably gone through three of these in my life, which is a lot because these blushes last forever. And I'm going to use a Morphe E4, which is no joke, you guys, my favorite blush brush that I've ever used in my life. It's not my current favorite. It is my favorite of all time. I've never used a blush brush that I like as much as this one. And I'm just going to apply that on the apples and then bring it back toward the temple. You can see like how pretty that color is. It just has such a beautiful glow in it. Another blush that I love so much for summer is MAC Sun Basque. So pretty. So now for the highlight. Da, 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 da. <laughs> I'm going to be using Champagne Pop. This is the highlight that I created with Becca Cosmetics. <laughs> I'm so excited about this. Oh my God. I've talked about this so much on Twitter and Snapchat. Um, this is my first time actually using it on camera. I don't know if I'm technically supposed to be talking about this yet, but I will go in depth in the next video and show you like the packaging and the actual color and all of that. But I'm just gonna use it today because I'm so excited. And it's what I've been using for so long. This is like the only highlight pretty much that I have been using for like the past three months. I'm not kidding. Oh my God, I'm so excited to swatch this on camera for the first time. I like have goosebumps. Using the, I'm like shaking, oh my god, I'm using the Morphe M501 brush, ah! Okay. <sighs> okay, okay, just keep going, just keep going. You just be strong, Jack, like you can do this. Okay, just be strong. <laughs> the highlight is too strong, it's too out of fleek, I can't take it. <laughs> highlight is too on fleek. I feel like there should be like a red alert. It's like, bah, 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 fleek overload. Bah, bah. And then this is also something that I will do with this highlight or any highlight is I'll take it like when I'm wearing a shirt like this and I will also put it on my shoulders just to give like a, <laughs> oh, look at 
me. I'm just so summery and glowy. What? Oh my god, I can't help myself, but just glow from within. <laughs> I have like the most intense, like jabby, nasty collarbones ever, and I'm like always trying to hide them. Um, but I will actually highlight them to kind of give that soft, glowy appearance. Yes. Ooh. Oh my god. That's like slightly amazing. Oh, I've never used this before. What am I even using right now? This is by Hot Makeup, and this is Kiss Me More Lip Cream in the shade Blown Away. It's gonna dry matte though, which I, I don't want it to dry matte. Once it dries, I'll probably put like a clear gloss or something over it because I kind of want it to stay glossy. I don't want it to be fully matte. Okay, so now I'm just going to set everything using, as always, the Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray. Bathe thyself. Mmm, so good, so refreshing, especially because I'm so hot in here. Okay, so even though my face is soaking wet in <laughs> Urban Decay Chill Setting Spray, talk about looking dewy, are you kidding me? But I'm going to just put a little bit of gloss over this lip because I don't want it to be really matte. I want to have more of a glossy look, so I'm going to use Buxom White Russian. I love this gloss so much. Right on the center of the lip, just to give a little gloss. All right, you guys, so that completes my current everyday makeup routine. I hope that you enjoy this video. I know that for some people, this could be too much makeup, this could be too much highlight, it could be too much eyeshadow, whatever it may be, but this is my current everyday makeup routine for the summertime. It's so easy. It literally takes me 15 minutes to do this look, and it's just, I just feel bronzy, and Lord knows I feel glowy. <laughs> so I hope that you guys enjoy this. Thank you so much for watching this video, and thank you for everything, you guys. Seriously, I... Don't say it enough, I probably think, but I love you very much and I'm very grateful. Those of you know exactly who you are. I'm not talking to the haters or the bypassers. I'm talking to like my true hillsters, my ride or dies, my girls and my boys who've been here with me. I just, I love you so much and I'm so thankful for you. So I hope that you guys enjoy and I'll see you soon. Bye guys.